Tim is an incredible leader. And he's the best kind of leader. He's one who really leads by example and by setting the pace, not somebody who leads from behind or by caveat. Tim Donahue really cares about people. And you see this in any kind of environment, be it at a meeting, be it at a party, be it on the golf course. He's always sensitive to the other people, more so than almost anyone I've ever met. He can engage the cab driver just as easily as the engineer that designed the car. He has this uncanny knack of getting people to talk to him, and that's because he listens and he really cares. You could give him anything to do and he would make it better. There's not anything anyone could either um, ask him to do or assign him to do that he wouldn't make much better. That's what kind of person he is. He's helped students at uh, John Carroll by establishing this scholarship fund to help people because of the high cost of education now and his belief in John Carroll and uh, the uh, support that John Carroll gives you. He wants other people, young people, uh, to be able to enjoy that and benefit from it. Tim has been very active with John Carroll University. He was on the board of directors for close to 10 years. He's been very generous. His participation in the campaign, the capital campaign for the Dolan Center was critical, particularly for the entire campus with the wiring of, uh, with the latest technologies. Do you think about Timothy and all the thoughtfulness and all the giving that he's given to his fellow man, he is the epitome of a Jesuit educated man and an epitome of a JCU man. Tim, congratulations on being awarded the Alumni Medal. Come July, I expect you to be wearing that for our golf match. It could make the difference this year. We were close last year. Tim, I want you to know I love you and Jane very much, and I want to congratulate you and Jane on receiving this award from John Carroll. I can't think of anyone I've ever known or met that deserves this award more than you do. I know in my heart how deserving you are, and I am sure everyone there tonight is just as proud of you as I am. So Tim, congratulations, and God love you. Tim, Bonnie and I just want to congratulate you and Jane on this honor you're receiving. We know, obviously, it's well-deserved. You're the perfect recipient. You have the heart and soul of a humble, compassionate leader. I want to wish you congratulations from all of your brothers and your sisters, from your nephews and your nieces, from your cousins, of which there is a huge extended family. Congratulations, Tim. I think back about the wonderful people that this university attracts and the wonderful opportunity I had to interact with those folks. And so that's something that I'll take to my grave with me wonderful people here and how important they've been to Jane and I in our life because it meant so much to me and because I've so much valued the education that I received here that Jane and I wanted to do something to return everything that this university has given to me so that they can have the benefit of the education that I had and all of you in this room had, and they can go on to be productive and happy and prosperous people in this wonderful country. We will always do that.